if you love name exploit then please consider leaving a super thanks in the comments of this video it's a great way to make a one-time donation to the channel and help support name explain the United Kingdom has many famous landmarks, Stonehenge, the Angel of the North, the Boo Tunnel and the Binley Mega Chippy. Yet what is perhaps the most iconic landmark of the UK has to be the huge clock that stands in the heart of London. The famous landmark that goes by the name of, um, uh, uh, Big, Big Ben? Or maybe the Elizabeth Tower? Or maybe something else entirely? Like most things about the UK and its nomenclature, it's confusing. The tower itself, the clock on it, the bells within it, and the building as a whole have had a plethora of names over the years. Not only have they had different names, but those names have been debated. People have spent centuries arguing over what part of it has what name exactly. I'm sure we've all had a smug friend tell us that the name we're using for it is wrong. Well, what if I told you that they're wrong too? You'll see what I mean in a moment. The most well-known name for this building as a whole, however, has to be the one I first mentioned and the one in the title of this video. Big Ben. And you know what? I just have to take a moment to highlight what a goofy name that really is. Big Ben is a name so ingrained into British slash world culture. It's just one of those things we say and don't really think twice about it. Yet if we actually do think twice about it, we start to realise just how weird it is for a grand gothic clock, the icon of the UK, to simply be named Big Ben. Like that's the name a high school bully would call a nerdy kid or something. No offence to any Bens out there. It just sounds especially dumb when you compare it to other landmark names too. The USA has the magnificently named Statue of Liberty, France has the Eiffel Tower, Brazil has Christ the Redeemer, and we're just stuck with Big Ben. Though I guess it just adds to the UK's quirky charm that our most famous landmark has such a silly name, and I guess it gives the clock way more character as well. Rant aside, this name of Big Ben does get applied to the entire building, clock, tower, bells and all. Yet this isn't technically correct. Most people, like your smug friend, all like to point out that the entire thing isn't called Big Ben, and that Big Ben is just the name of the largest bell. Well, you know what? That isn't technically true either. The largest bell is officially called the Great Bell, due to the fact it's the greatest in size bell of them all. There are actually five bells in the tower. The biggest one, the Great Bell slash Big Ben, and four smaller bells known as the Quarter Bells. What this means however is that when that smug friend tells you, actually the tower isn't called Big Ben, just the bell is, you can tell them no, the bell isn't even called Big Ben either. Or you could just tell them to shut up and stop being so pedantic. That works too. This got me thinking, if the tower isn't actually called Big Ben, and the bell isn't actually called Big Ben, then what on earth is actually called Big Ben? Well the correct answer to that question is everything and nothing. Technically Technically, no single part of it or the entire thing as a whole is called Big Ben, yet at the same time, any part of it and all of it are commonly referred to as Big Ben. Even official sources like Parliament's website call it Big Ben, and its Wikipedia page calls it Big Ben. This is one of those cases where the way people use names and words have way more power than any kind of official documentation. You can claim something isn't called something, but if enough people use a name, it's going to stick around, regardless of how official that name is. In other words, Big Ben is just the nickname. It's all quite confusing but what I can say for sure is that you can call this entire thing Big Ben or just parts of it Big Ben and be correct and incorrect at the same time. Dumb clock. So now that we've established that none of it and all of it is called Big Ben, why don't we actually look into where that name of Big Ben actually comes from? To understand that it's worth looking into the history of the building first. Despite being such an icon of London and the UK, the tower is only around 160 years old, which while a long time in human years isn't actually that old in landmark years. For context, Agra's Taj Mahal opened in 1653 AD, Rome's Colosseum was built in around 80 AD, and the UK's other iconic landmark of Stonehenge was constructed in possibly around 3500 BC. So yeah, Big Ben is a baby in landmark terms. While Big Ben is young, the idea of a clock tower in London goes way further back. There is said to have been a clock tower in this location as far back as the 1290s, though there's no records of it. The earliest known of clock tower in this area, however, was erected in 1367 AD, which was also the first public chiming clock in England. Over the years, this clock fell into disrepair and was even replaced with a sundial at one point. 
This tower was destroyed entirely, however, in 1834 AD, when a fire burnt down pretty much the entire Palace of Westminster, which Big Ben is attached to. Of course, Westminster needed to be rebuilt, and it was decided that a new clock tower would be included in the designs. Construction on the new clock tower began in 1843, almost 10 years after the first one burnt down. After experimenting with some bells that kept on cracking when being struck, everything was figured out and the tower, clock, bells and all were completed on the 31st of May, 1859. So, how does its construction relate to the name of Big Ben? Well, it all has to do with one of the people in charge of overseeing the tower's construction. That being one, Benjamin Hall. He was a Welsh MP of the time, but also held the role of First Commission of Works in Public Buildings, which means he oversaw the construction of new buildings across the UK. He had this role in the latter stages of the development of the tower, and became very much linked with its development and finalisation. So much so that his name is inscribed on the bell itself. It's this Ben who is believed to be the namesake of Big Ben. Whether that's true or not is not entirely known. Apparently, one Times of London report from the time stated that it was proposed to call our King of Bells Big Ben in honour of Sir Benjamin Hall, the President of the Board of Works, during whose tenure of office it was cast, which adds credence to the story and once again links the name with the bell specifically, which is inaccurate as we've mentioned. It's just called the Great Bell. There is also a theory that the name Big Ben comes from one Benjamin Kant, a famous boxer of the time who was apparently also nicknamed Big Ben. This one is more dubious than the Benjamin Hall theory, however. If we do run with the idea, however, that the bell is called Big Ben, which it isn't, then what is the actual tower called? Well, it has actually had a selection of different names over the years. When it was first built, it was simply known as the Clock Tower, because it's a tower with a clock on it. Crazy, right? This was actually its official name all the way up until 2012. In this world-ending year, it was renamed the Elizabeth Tower. This was an ode to one Queen Elizabeth II, as 2012 was the year of her Diamond Jubilee, meaning she had spent 60 years on the throne of the United Kingdom. This name has taken off a fair amount. I mean, it's still more commonly well known as Big Ben, but a lot of people know that the tower is actually called the Elizabeth Tower these days. But between being called the Clock Tower and the Elizabeth Tower, it was also known by a couple other names too. Both these names, however, are not only unofficial, but completely wrong as well. It was known as St. Stephen's Tower. This makes sense with the UK's ties to Christianity and having big places named after saints, but here's the thing. This flat out isn't St. Stephen's Tower. The Palace of Westminster does have a St. Stephen's Tower, but is instead the one over the main public entrance of the building. So there is a St. Stephen's Tower, it's just not this one. The other incorrect name it has gone by is the East Tower. While this one was used a lot in the past, it is once again completely wrong, simply because it is in the north of the palace, not the east. So yeah, Lots of names, lots of inaccuracies. The final element of Big Ben we ought to look into is the clock face itself. It's also worth highlighting the importance of public clocks. While all of us pretty much have a clock on us at all times, thanks to wristwatches and smartphones and everything else that has the time on it, this wasn't the case in the past. Personal clocks and watches were expensive things, initially only for the wealthiest of people. The first ever wristwatch came into being in 1810, which while predates Big Ben, it was made for the Queen of Naples at the time, which shows us just how prestigious they were. Yet while only the wealthy could afford clocks, everyone still needed to know the actual time. Enter the public clock slash town clock. These kinds of clocks allow anyone in the city to easily see what the time is, and if they couldn't see the clock itself, the bells would sound out across the city, especially in the past where there was far less noise pollution in places like London. This allowed employees to know when to go to work, or to know if shops were close to being open or closed. We take timekeeping for granted granted now, but in the past it was a very big deal. When Big Ben was completed, it was actually the largest and most accurate clock in the entire world. It has since been surpassed on the world stage in regards to its size, with the world's largest clock now being the one found on the Abraj Alibi Towers in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Anyway, names. This clock face is also commonly known as Big Ben, but you guessed it, that's not its official name. Officially, it is simply called the Great Clock. Once again, because it was the greatest clock in size the world had seen up to that point. So, in summary, the bell is technically called the Great Bell, but everyone just calls it Big Ben. The tower is called the Elizabeth Tower, but everyone calls it Big Ben. The clock is called the Great Clock, but everyone calls it Big Ben. And the thing as a whole doesn't really have one name, but everyone calls it Big Ben. So, yeah. 
No part of Big Ben is really called Big Ben. It's just a nickname for all its different elements and the entire thing, which is way more popular than any of its actual names. The final thing I have to mention is that the famous chime of Big Ben, the Westminster chime, actually has lyrics too. Those being, <clears throat> All through this hour, Lord be my guide, that be thy power, no foot shall slide. Now, I can't help but feel we should get some iconic British person to record these lyrics and have them play across London whenever Big Ben chimes. Let me know who you think it should be. My shortlist is probably either Alison Hammond, Bob Mortimer, Gemma Collins, or Danny Dyer. This video topic was suggested by Grey Computer over on my Patreon. Every Wednesday, I put up a video request post over on my Patreon for my awesome patrons to leave video ideas on. I then pick one of those ideas to be turned into a video the following Wednesday. So if you have a great idea for a Name Explain video and wish to enjoy Name Explain videos ad-free, as well as get exclusive content and your name at the end of these videos, then why not support the channel on Patreon? It takes just $1 a month to help the channel in a huge way and gets you all of these amazing benefits. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below. Name Explain depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon. So a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explain videos, and your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.